Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my Happy Mail video. It's Remembrance Day, the 11th of November, which also happens to have been my parents' wedding anniversary. So yes, we're a poppy and on our veterans today. So I was going to start to go to work this morning when I got a text message from the ladies at the post office that I had some mail to pick up. And I thought, well, I'll pick it up after work. Um, I was expecting something I had bought and uh, wasn't really expecting what I got because there were three cards in my box saying I had mail and I went in I thought oh, someone's been overly zealous with putting the parcel cards in there and she goes nope you've got three so first is my acquisition that I'll share with you remember and um, I told you there was one ball missing from my Bendigo woolen mills order which they have now sent me which is the cotton that I ordered for a project and this color is a pale lilac 100% cotton 400 is it 400 485 meters in a ball by Wendigo I'm showing you this to remind you if you didn't watch the last video um, Bendigo during November are donating sales a percentage from their sales to the flood relief victims in Victoria there's been a lot of flooding down there especially where we went on holidays and yes they are denoting a percentage of their sales to the flood relief victims in Victoria um, I'll remember this time put a link to their website check out their stock their cotton is beautiful it is so soft and they do do a 10 ply cotton a 4 ply cotton you won't be disappointed lots of lovely wool so that was my acquisition and what were my other two parcels well both of them from the USA and I was just absolutely stoked I have opened them so I could dig out the cards the first one I have for you is she did let me know that she had sent me a little something little it's from Karen Allard a lovely subscriber and that is her card that is a watercolour painted by their friends of a box they used to have on their property and she said she used to grow annuals in one side and it looked beautiful when the annuals were falling forward out of it and I'd love to have seen that because I think that would have looked gorgeous but this is a lovely card inside I'm a little embarrassed she has to say said some absolutely beautiful things that just touch my heart and I just don't know what to say Karen um, it's such a privilege to have you as a subscriber and I do love this card so we'll get into the box this is her little gift to me really taped up well so lots of tissue paper <laughs> now she said she had put something together in a little orange bag for me um, something special and I'm just undoing it so here it is this is our little orange bag wrapped in tissue sorry guys I sh oh wow look at that it's a polar bear stitch marker that is absolutely awesome and the only one I have ever seen isn't that fantastic absolutely I will treasure that that is just she also sent me some beautiful yarn there was something she was going to send that she couldn't they were on the um, you can't send this Bread Delicious hand dyed yarn and handy mini fingering weight 75% wool superwash merino wool and nylon happy hour that's that one and she has sent one to coordinate with it this one because she said you might like to make another pair of socks I really do like this color it's a bit darker rust in this light it's coming across really orange but it's a 
a rusty orange which I really love. This is Threads hand dyed yarn. I've heard of Threads and I can't think who showed it. And it is really nice yarn. Colorway Tiger Lily. Now that's what I remember. Someone was showing the Tiger Lily yarn. And it is 75% Super Merino Wash, 25% Nylon. Oh, lovely squishy five rating. It is lovely. And you never know. I'm just going to pause the video and try and fix the lighting. There, I want, I know, see it's still, even in using daylight, it still comes across really orange. And it's a much darker, rustier orange with orange in there. That will make a great sock set. Karen, thank you so much. I can't believe you sent it all this way. I freak out when I see what people are paying for postage. It is greatly appreciated. I love my polar bear stitch marker. He is absolutely gorgeous and so thoughtful and such lovely words in the card. Thank you. Much appreciated. So then it doesn't stop there. Of course then I got this parcel from Barbara who's subscribed for a while and totally surprised me. Didn't let me know this was coming. And um, I opened her card. I fished it out. A lovely Christmas tree. And lovely words. And I'm... I love the, the little saying, colour your world with love. I really think that's lovely. Just so lovely. A little card from Barbara. And in here... Because I can see the top, it's blown me away. Because I've been looking for this type of yarn. Now, I say I have too much yarn, which I had this conversation with Reeves last night. And has he said to me, it's too much because you don't know what to use it for. Is too much because you think you have to use it. Or is too much just taking up space. And I said, probably taking up too much space. Um, he said, because you shouldn't use it just because you think you've got to get rid of it or give it away because you've got too much. You've got to do the right thing by it. And um, you bought it for a reason. And I had been looking for some rainbow coloured yarn. Like, buy it locally, not from online or anything. Well, no one really has rainbow coloured yarn. Because I bought this pattern that I wanted to do it in like a rainbow coloured yarn and I had decided from my stash I could do it in a more subtle baby type rainbow colour and that's probably what I would do. I can't start it yet because I've got to move some whips along. Anyway, Barbara has sent me. Unbelievable. Look at that. I'm not going to open it. This is Premier Basics. Premier Yarn is my favourite. And look at that colour. That is so perfect. You know, I wanted like pinky rainbow colours. And this is just beautiful. I, I'm frightened if I take it out of the bag, it will just go everywhere. There is one loose here. She sent me four of them. So I'll take this one out. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect for this pattern that I have. I just hope I can do it justice. So this is Premier Basics. The only way I can get this um, Premier yarn is to order it from American Yarns and they get it in. And I did look at their website. They didn't have, they don't have this colour listed. It's 100% acrylic, 198 metres and 120 gram ball. It's Premier Basic Mosaic. I'm trying to see if there's a colour name. I couldn't. When I got home, I kept trying to find it online at American Yarns, but not this. Can't really see worsted acrylic, tested, approved, washing instructions. Here we go. Colour bouquet. This is just so perfect for this. It's four weight, which is what I needed, and in a rainbowy colour. 
also in here is I'll take this one out first. Reeves is going to love you because he loves trying American food. We've bought some online before. These are my favourite growing up. Taste, tasty cake is made in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, about 90 minutes south of where we live. He is going to probably ambush me for these. We've tried a lot of stuff. There is the All Sorts Lolly Shopping Town that gets a few things in. Um, I can't say that we've ever taken to Reese's Cups, but there is lots of other stuff we like. I can't even get them open. <gasps> Sorry, guys. I'll just rip. Cakes with chocolate flavoured coating and peanut butter filling. Oh, he's going to love you. He's going to say, where's mine? <laughs> Candy cakes, peanut butter. I'll let you know what he thinks. Oh, this is so nice of you to send those. You guys are spoiling me. And also in here is this little pouch. Always remember that you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think. And... Loved more than you know. Wow, isn't that awesome? That just feels like it should go in a frame. Barbara, I freaked when I saw the postage cost. And I do have an idea because I posted a parcel to my son in London and it was just under two kilos and it was $56. I did say to him, it is the chocolates he can't get over there that he really likes and I like to send him for Christmas. But I did say I may just stick to Amazon UK and send him stuff. But they don't have, they have Australian wine and things. But yes, postage is a killer. So guys, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you sending this, Barbara. I love reading all your little messages and the cards you send me and what you're up to. And congratulations on the birth of your granddaughter. That is awesome. And I hope you enjoy making stuff for her. So to Karen and Barbara, thank you so much. Um, so thoughtful and such kind words in the cards really touches my heart. Um, it makes YouTube worthwhile. I've been asked a lot, a lot lately, am I going to continue with YouTube because my channel hasn't really grown very much it doesn't seem to move forward yes i am i have made plans for 2023 it was never about being the biggest or the best it was about meeting yarny friends like barbara and karen and having some yarny fun with people not necessarily just down the road across the other side of the world and hopefully one day we will all meet up and have a big hug so that's my happy mail, my happy Friday. Um, I always find Remembrance Day sad now because it being my parents' wedding anniversary and they're not around to celebrate it. But I do love what our um, the ladies from Ken's Poppy On do in our town and how our, how our regional area still really goes all out for Remembrance Day. So onwards to the markets i've sorted out my tubs i have six medium tubs and one very large tub to go to the market thing did ask me are you doing december markets and i said oh i don't know it gets really hot he goes well you better because you're not going to sell all this stuff at one market this is enough for two or three well if i sell it all at one market i'll be doing cartwheels at my age but you never know I might go on and do December markets. I have been frantically making things for the markets. Hence why I am knitting my socks, but they sort of pause. That's how far I've got with the socks. I'm about ready to do the heel, the new heel I'm going to learn. And yes, I think I will have to make a pair of socks in these colours for me. What do you think, guys? 
thank you so much for watching i hope you have a lovely weekend ahead of you mine is going to be hot hard work but that won't matter if we make a lot of money for emma's quest and hopefully it doesn't rain until next time stay safe stay well and have a great yarny day bye for now